Namaskar and a very warm welcome. You're watching Vantage. I'm Akanksha Swaroop. The war in Ukraine is on, but another battle is intensifying in Russia. At the centre of this, Yevgeny Prigozhin, a man who is earlier known as Putin's chef. These days, he likes to be called the Russian president's butcher. Prigozhin is escalating his war with the Russia's military establishment. He's pulling his troops, the Wagner mercenaries from Bakhmut. This is right after they declared victory over Ukraine a claim that Kiev has contested. Prigozhin now says the war failed to achieve its purpose. And there's a serious threat of a revolution in Russia now. What's brewing? We'll get you the full story. Also on the show, Imran Khan's party is imploding. Over a dozen members have resigned. What will Captain Khan do next? We'll tell you all about this. Ron DeSantis has entered the 2024 presidential race, but his campaign is off to a rocky start planet Jupiter is changing its colours. It's a story you don't want to miss. I'm Akanksha Swaroop filling in for Palki Sharma. Let's have a quick look at the headlines first. Japan scrambles fighter jets after detecting Russian intelligence gathering aircraft. The incident took place off its coasts along the Pacific Ocean and Sea of Japan. This comes days after Japan hosted Ukrainian President Zelensky at the G7 summit in Hiroshima. China's Ukraine envoy to head to Moscow tomorrow, Li Hui, will hold talks with Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov. Last week, the Chinese diplomat met President Zelensky in Ukraine. Beijing is desperate to present itself as a peacemaker in the grinding conflict. Sudan's warring factions trade blame game over truce breach. The one-week-long truce has been violated several times since coming into effect on Monday. The latest ceasefire was negotiated by the US and Saudi Arabia. Just days ahead of the election runoff, Turkish opposition leader Suz Erdogan, Kemal Kilic Darulu, lodges a $50,000 lawsuit against the Turkish president over an online smear campaign. Kilic Darulu finished almost five points behind Erdogan in the first round on May 15. The runoff is on Sunday. Net migration to the UK hit a record 606,000 in 2022, putting more pressure on the government. The Rishi Sunak administration has pledged to cut dependency on foreign labour. The record high figure includes those arriving from Ukraine after Russia's invasion. There's also been an influx from Hong Kong as China continues to clamp down on civil rights. El Salvador Football Authorities cancelled the national championship midway. The decision comes after a stampede at a game on Saturday killed 12 and injured hundreds. The competition had only reached the first leg of the quarterfinals.